Hi guys, it's Gabby. So today I'm going to be doing another get ready with me. So right now I'm looking just a little rough. I mean, it's like now I kind of look cute. Just kidding. Anyways, but yeah, so if you see like stuff on my shirt, uh, I used it to wipe off makeup yesterday and then water and stuff when I wash my face. So that's what that is. If you see, my face feels a little bit dry because I just washed it. I don't like to put moisturizer on during the day because I feel like it ruins the makeup. Um, not ruins, but I don't know. I just don't like to put that on during the day. So I'm going to spray my Mario Badescu. I've been obsessed with this. I straightened my hair. I put it up in a bun. So this is real right now. So yeah, let's just get... Oh my god. Ugh. Kind of like ate some of it. So let's just start with the makeup routine. Woo. Oh my god, stop. Now I can't see my face because it's being covered by my mirror. Yikes. Oh wait, my fit and my fit. Oof. Okay, good. That works. All right. So, um, if you guys notice in the back of my up here, I have those lights. Um, I got these lights on Amazon, by the way. A few people asked me where I got them. My parents gave it to me, and I mean, they surprised me with it. And I was like, Oh my god, stop! I've actually been wanting these. Oh, I put a little bit too much. I'm not really doing anything, um, crazy today. Stop. That's a lot. Crap. <laughs> I'll like move it to the rest of my face. Um, yeah, so I'm not doing anything crazy today. Um, uh, let me, one topic at a time. Okay, I was just talking about my lights. Yeah, so my parents surprised me with the lights and I was so happy because I actually wanted them, but I never asked. Um, yeah, they know me so well. And so they got me the lights and they're super cool. They're from Amazon. I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but I think you can just type in like, um, I don't know what to call like LED lights. I don't know. I don't freaking know. But yeah, so just type that in. It's probably like the first or second. A lot of people have these. It's awesome because there's like an app and you can change the color on your app, connect it to your Alexa if you have one and it changes colors. Like, look, I'll show you. Is my Alexa? I don't know that. Oh, it's because I said her name. I was like, is she like broken? <laughs> Alexa, turn my lights blue. Okay. <laughs> is she stupid? She does that sometimes. It's so weird. Oh, Oh, it's kind of a lot. Okay. Alexa, turn my lights blue. Okay. There we go. So I can literally do every color of the rainbow. Alexa, turn my lights red. Okay. Alexa, turn my lights orange. Okay. Alexa, turn my lights yellow. Okay. Alexa, turn my lights green. <laughs> I'm literally doing every color of the rainbow. Alexa, are we, turn my lights white. Okay. Alexa, turn my lights white. Okay. This hoe. Alexa, turn my lights white. Okay. Is she stupid? Oh my god. But yeah, so I love playing around with them and using different colors. I have them on 24-7. And it's funny because I wanted to make my lights pink to match my shirt. But for some reason, on camera, the pink and purple look the same. Like, in person, you can tell. But on camera, it looks the same and it looks like I always have the same color on. But it's just because the pink and purple happen to look really similar on screen. So, yeah. Alexa, turn my lights black. Okay. That's so cool. It's not really black because or else it w you couldn't see it. You won't be able to see it, but it just looks like that whenever I do that. So yeah. Alexa, turn my lights pink. Okay. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like it looks purple, but like on camera, it's like a light pink. I mean, it looks purple on camera, but in person, it's like a light pink. But yeah, and you can do like copy. Let's see, like that's what you can do if you connect it connect it to your Alexa. But if you open the app with it, you can like dim it, make it really, really dim and make it or make it really, really bright or like in between, whatever. And you can also have it so it, so it's multicolor and it like changes a bunch of different colors. It goes like this, it spins, it goes like that, da, 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 whatever, you know what I mean? And then um, if you connect it to your music, it'll play the mu the lights will go to the beat of the music. Did that make sense? Yeah. So that's cool. And then is some, I feel like I'm missing something else. Um, no, that's pretty much it. So I love that, you know, during the day, I usually have like blue or purple. And then at night, I love to do orange because when it's dim, it looks so peaceful, so nice. 
and it's really awesome so i really recommend these lights because they're literally the best and if you have an alexa you can connect it and just tell her to do it or you could just do it on the app because that's really easy too but yeah that's that okay so today i am going to my college so if you guys didn't know i'm going to kane i'm a senior right now so School is almost over for me, thank God. I honestly cannot wait to graduate. I know everybody says that, but then they like miss it. But I know for a fact that I will not miss it and that I will not regret saying that. And after college is over, um, I mean, after high school is over, I'm going to come back and you're going to hear me say the same thing. I'm someone that honestly, I don't like to like, not dwell on things, but like, I'm someone where life goes on. I It was great, but I'm ready to like move past. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I miss certain things like, oh, I miss like doing dance when I was little or, oh, I miss like doing soccer with my cousin. But it's like, it was fun at the time, but like, you know, I moved on. I'm doing something else now. So I'm very, very excited for my future. So I, I applied to Kane. I got in. That was actually my top choice school i've been wanting to go to kane for the longest time and i've actually wanted to be a teacher for the longest time i'm um majoring in education and i'm so so excited i've literally always wanted to be a teacher i don't know if i've ever talked about this but for the longest longest time when i was a kid um i had an american girl doll oh even before i had an american girl doll because i got that in like elementary school but when i was like young like i'm talking like first second grade i would make these worksheets and like my parents would like give me like those little books for like little kids like the abc's stuff and stuff like that and i would like just make worksheets like on word and i would print them out and i would force my parents to play teacher at me and i would grade papers and i had like the whole set like the stamps the stickers the markers literally everything nobody ever wanted to play with me and it always made me sad because i had to like beg and beg and beg please play with me but you know my mom my dad my brother and who else maybe my aunt a few times and my cousin nobody ever enjoyed playing Here's your it's gonna remind me to do the dishes, dishes. yep it's so annoying because um my chore in the house is to do the dishes my brother is to alexa stop reminding me um, so yeah, my chore in the house is to do the dishes every day, not the actual dishes, like put the dishwasher, like everything that's in the dishwasher that's clean to put away. And my brother's is to do the garbage. I absolutely hate it, um, but it's annoying, but I have to do it. And I connected it to my reminders on my phone and I deleted the reminder because it got annoying. And for some reason, it's still connected to my Alexa and I don't know how to, ew, it's dripping. Um, I don't know how to disconnect it from my Alexa because she literally reminds me every single day at around like 3, 4 to do it. And she reminds me like 50 times like it's going to go off again. It's so annoying. So if anyone knows how to do that, let me know. I think I have to do it through the app, but I'm not really sure. So yeah, as I was saying, so yeah, when I was younger, I used to always force my parents and my family members to play teacher at me. And I used to do like a restaurant. Like when I tell you guys, I was so like passionate about this. Like I would do um restaurant, like I made menus, like I had my dad laminate menus at work. And I had like the centerpieces with flowers that I would make out of construction papers. I had like the fake food, like everything, like um for sh like I had like a fake grocery store, like I had the baskets, like I was like, I remember this too, like it's crazy. So yeah, and then when, when I got a little bit older, my aunt got me and my cousin American Girl dolls. And um, when you get an American Girl doll, you can like have her be anything you want, like a doctor. Like you can get like um, like hospital beds and wheelchairs. It's like awesome. So because I really wanted to be a teacher, my aunt got me like um, the school the school chairs, the lockers, the school notebooks, the backpack, all of that. So then on top of that, I would um, play teacher with that stuff. And yeah, so I've literally always known that I wanted to be that. Like, I've never even thought about being anything else. I think when I was like a kid kid, like I'm talking like four or five years old, I wanted to be a ballerina because I was like so into dance. But realistically, after that, I've wanted to be a teacher. And I've honestly never considered anything else because I don't want to be anything else. Like, I could never see myself being a doctor. Like, I could never do that because I get so queasy around like taking blood. Like, I literally hate taking blood like i cry it's so bad it's not that i'm afraid of needles it's not even that because i can handle a shot i mean obviously i don't enjoy it but i'm not gonna like cry about the needle it's the fact that it's going in my vein that's what gets me because my number one fear are veins <laughs> sorry this went everywhere people always ask me oh you have veins like they try to put their veins in my face like oh does that scare you honestly that doesn't even like freak me out like 
obviously I have veins, but my veins aren't that visible. Like if I go like this, like that, like, oh, stop. They go like this and like that you can't see mine like there's people out there where their veins are very very visible because either they're really fair or they stick out no matter like what kind of skin you have whatever and that's what i don't like like i don't like to see like your veins popping out like even with guys like i know a lot of girls find that so attractive i literally hate that and i don't find that hot whatsoever like i'm sorry but no thank you because to me it's like i feel like they're gonna like pop so you know what i mean like if anything, I'm scared of veins in the wrist and hands. That's what really gets me because I feel like your wrist is going to like bend and it's going to break in the vessel. Oh, oh, God, stop. Just thinking about it literally gets me so like grossed out and like I want to pass out. So that's why I don't like to give blood work because it's the fact that the needle is going in the vein in my arm and having to see that literally traumatizes me. It's so freaking bad. And so, yeah. That is my, I forgot why I got to that topic, but yeah. So oh, because I could never be a doctor. Yeah. So I could never like go in that field and there's really nothing else that I want to be. I feel like if anything, I would make a really good lawyer only for the debate portion because I'm someone where I'm very loud. Well, I'm not loud 24 seven, but like if I'm comfortable around you and if I'm just having fun, like I could be really loud, like really talkative, like I don't ever shut up. Um, when I'm like around people and talking like when I'm by myself like I'm quiet like if I'm in school I'm quiet like you know what I mean like it really does depend but um, I really like to get my way and I like to be right and I like to just debate about my talk topic because I feel like I'm really good at explaining things you know what I mean so like I feel like even if people have like a different opinion than me, like I respect everyone's opinion but even if they have a different opinion I'll say my opinion and I'll somehow try to convince them that my opinion is right do you know what I mean? Because I state facts, like real things that happen. Not like, oh, this, oh, because I think, no, it's like this, this, and this. Does that make sense? I don't know. That makes sense in my head. But I could never be a lawyer because that's like hella school and that's hella work and I'm just, I can't. But yeah, so that's why I want to be a teacher. I love little kids. I love like grading things. I love like doing activities. Like that's something that I'm really, really passionate about. I have a few like teachers in my family, um and also my parents' friends. And a lot of them say like, oh, I, I don't like teaching. I used to love it, but now I don't. But I really do like everybody says like, oh, like don't do it. But then I have, um, my mom has this one friend and she tells me, she's like, no, teaching is amazing. Like you're gonna, like she knows how passionate I am about it. And she's seen me like, like not work, but like she's seen me as a kid do all this stuff. And she knows she's like, you're like teaching is such like a good thing for you. Like you're going to be really good at it and you should definitely go into it. So I feel like this is going to be really good for me. And yeah, but what makes me sad it, and I'm not just saying this because I want to be a teacher, but teachers are so underappreciated. It's actually insane because like the reason why you know how to talk properly not talk because obviously your parents taught you that but like the reason why you know how to like say all these words and like write read like say your abcs count like is because of teachers like like you know preschool kindergarten elementary school teachers like if anything i think out of all like even professors i think that um pre-k and elementary school grade teachers are the most important and should get paid the most i i think that because they're the ones that teach you the basics of everything that you need to know you know what i mean and it's just like crazy that like so many teachers get laid off and so many schools close down and like there's so many um what do you call it protests because they're not getting paid enough and it's so sad because it's like they're so important you know what i mean and it's just uh it literally makes me so sad and i wish they got paid more and like even in high school like don't get me wrong obviously there are teachers that in high school middle school that don't deserve to get paid the amount that they do because they don't do things like we all know teachers that are genuinely lazy don't care about their job don't want to be there and that's not fair to the teachers who do do a lot of work and like even like i'm not sure about everyone but i think that in my school i'm not really sure but somebody was like oh in certain places like gym teachers get paid the same amount as um you know fuck what do you call it um as subject teachers like history teachers um english teachers and that to me it's like mm, i don't know my thing is is like depending on i'm sorry i'm like i'm trying to explain this properly okay so depending on what um degree you have you should obviously get paid more like if no matter what kind of teacher you are if you're a sub if you're um a history teacher if you're a gym teacher a health teacher if you have a really good degree 
then you should obviously get paid more because you get paid more because you know more, you went to more school, you took more classes, you have a bigger degree. So that's different. That doesn't really, I think when it comes to degrees, okay, understandable. But when you're talking about different forms of teachers, I mean, you have to be realistic here. Like obviously a principal should get paid a lot. Obviously elementary school um, history should get paid a good amount. But like history teachers, like if you just have a basic degree and you're getting paid more than an English teacher, that's not fair. Cause like, if you think about it, they don't have test degree. They don't have anything to grade. They just take attendance and literally play outside and talk all period on their phone. Like really? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's how I feel. But I really feel like teachers are really underappreciated and it makes me sad because they should definitely be, pay be getting paid more. And I really hope that that changes in the future because it's just so fucking frustrated, you know? And so, yeah. So for me, I'm definitely going to make sure that they get a really good degree um, and go to a lot, go to as much school as I can because I'm not going to want to go back obviously so I might as well get it done all in one shot that way you get paid more because I don't know if you guys know this but like I said before if you have the higher the degree you have the more money you can get paid in jobs because you know more yeah I feel like I repeated the same stuff a bunch of times but you guys get the point I hope oh I hate when foundation gets on your um, lips so yeah so I'm gonna be going into teaching and I applied to Kane I got in and I'm so excited to go because Kane is such an amazing school for education and STEM and that's exactly what I want to do so I already knew once I got in I'm like yep this is my school I committed and that was it, it was really simple for me honestly I really didn't want to go anywhere else there was really no point of applying to all these places if I w didn't want to go there anyways because my first choice was Kane always has been and now that I'm going, I'm very, very excited. So that is why I'm doing, doing my makeup today because I'm going to Kane to pick up a bunch of like, um, what do you call it? Merch? I don't know. Like shirts, sweaters, sweatpants so I can wear to Commitment Day tomorrow. I'm just going to wear jeans, uh, my Nike Pros, Nike Pros, oh my god, jeans, my Nike Air Forces, and then uh, a Kane long sleeve and that will be what I wear for Commitment Day. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going with my friends. We're very, very excited. We're going to... Oh, I'm doing my makeup because we're going to take pictures so that I can post tomorrow too. So I'm just, so just going to wear the same outfit so that it looks like I took them the same day. But I didn't. What time is it? I don't even know. Oh, Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.55 p.m. Thanks, bitch. Good afternoon. Thank you. She always does that whenever I ask for time. She'll be like, good morning, good afternoon, good night, have a good night, like the weather, whatever. Because I got mad one day and I threw my clock at my door. This was like in the summer. And so I haven't gotten a clock since. And it's so annoying because I never can know the time. Like, yeah, I have my phone and I can ask Alexa. But like, I always used to look really quick at my clock on my nightstand. But now it's not there. So I need to find a really simple clock so that I can have in my room. Because it doesn't tell you the time when you're recording, so I don't know. Alright, so let's take this scrub off. I hope they have some cute things that came, because I want to get a couple things. I don't even know where it is. Oh, wait, just kidding. Yes, I do. Alright. So, luckily, well, not really luckily, because it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, but my best friend Jackie's going to the same college as me. She's going to transfer out. Um after a year or two because she wants to go into nursing but she's gonna start off at Kane. so proud of her yes can't wait I'm really excited because I cannot wait to like even though it's gonna be so much work oh my god I'm literally dreading the work of college because I'm gonna be real with you guys I don't do shit in high school like Freshman, sophomore, junior year, I did so much work, especially junior year. Junior year, I almost died. Like, I literally almost died. The amount of work and stress I had because of school. I mean, I wasn't really stressed, but I I was so annoyed by the work. It was literally crazy. Like, I stayed up so many nights um, and school cramming, trying to do, like, a bunch of projects in school and stuff. And it was so annoying, so stressful because the classes, to me, were so hard. The hardest classes were... um algebra 2 and chemistry i've never been good at math or science 
Um, and so yeah, that's a really, sh really big struggle for me, especially science. I'm the worst at science. I don't know why. It just doesn't like. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like Adam, this, this, that. Like what? Like so annoying. But yeah, we figured it's science. God bless you. I'm really good at um, English, except I hate to read, which is ironic because what? <laughs> but I'm just really good at writing. Like I like to write. Um, when I was younger, even now, just kidding, even now, I have like a bunch of notebooks. Like I literally have a drawer. If you guys watched my um, What's in My Vanity um, tour, I have a drawer and I literally have hella notebooks and I write about everything like about my life like i literally have notebooks from when i was in elementary school writing about my crushes writing about um what happened in school and like crazy things that happened to me if in the future maybe i'll consider making a video of reading what is in my notebook because it's actually insane like like i i look back i look back to that and i'm like oh my god i forgot i was friends with this person i forgot i like this person i forgot that this happened like you know what i mean and it's good to to have that though because it's like awesome i do that now i write about a bunch of stuff and sometimes i'll do it in my um notes in my iphone because i get lazy to write but i really need to like start writing because i love it i write like poems and like thoughts in my head and i don't know weird stuff like youtube ideas and everything like that so that's really cute i should bring it bring it around with me oh my god i like you you guys heard that i was like yeah so I like i should really carry it in my purse and like write whenever like i'm bored or not doing anything does the light just get bad or is it just me oh stop i hope the lighting doesn't go down alexa when is the sunset supposed to happen i said that's so this stupid your question the game sunset was released about four years alexa ago May is she hello Hello. Sometimes she acts a little stupid. All right, let's just do this bronzer. All right, I think I'm good. I'm not gonna pack it on because this foundation's a little. No, it's good. Plus, I'm gonna be wearing long sleeves, so it's it's like fine. All right, what's next? Blush. Stop! My back is hurting. Oh. I told you she's gonna remind me again. I'm reminding you. Dishes. Alexa, stop reminding me. Ho. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of blush. Just kidding. Here we go. Do, 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 do. I was actually gonna make this video playing music and like listening to the songs and like being stupid, but then I realized that might be kind of annoying. But if you guys wanna see that, then definitely let me know, even though I might get copyrighted or whatever, but honestly i don't really care youtube is so freaking annoying they got so strict with the rules like listen we're just trying to have fun and listen to music like do you own that music no you don't so why does it matter what, oh my god what am i looking for oh my uh mascara i love this mascara so cute you know they i didn't know that they had like different ones like they have like the regular pink one which i had before and then they have the sparkly one which i have now and then they have one with like diamonds i want to buy that one so bad just because it looks pretty and like get all three of them and put them together and like post a pic because that's going to be so cute. So if anyone knows where to buy the diamond one, let me know because I haven't seen it in like Sephora or Ulta. Maybe they have it online. Oh yeah, I should check. Oh, I got foundation in like my nose hairs. Love that. Doo -doo. Oh. Ah, crap. My sis Amber said she was coming at 4, 4.30 and it's like almost 4. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 4.01 p.m. Yo, where's she at? It's like, no. It's so nice out. After, when spring break started, the weather was literally so beautiful out. It's crazy because when I was in school right before spring break, it was so cold. I was like, oh, this weather is so gross. And then it's like as soon as spring break hit, like the first day of spring break, it was like nice weather and it's been so nice. I love that. I love being able to like go out in like jeans or even shorts and just have a sweater and be comfortable. You know what I mean? Like I hate having to wear like layers and layers and layers. Like it's fun and all, but like after a certain point, it's like annoying. Cause like in Jersey, our winters are so freaking long, bro. It's literally only hot or like and warm in like June, July, August, September. That's literally it. Cause the rest is like cold and like cool weather. And it's type annoying, but I like that we have all four seasons. I just wish that they were perfectly divided, but it's not. 
I wonder if there are any places that are like that. Probably not. Actually, no, wait, I lied. Probably, yeah. Because, like, I'm someone where I could never lit, lit, oh my god. I could never live in warm weather all year round. I feel like at one point I'd be like, oh my god, it's so hot. My bad, guys. Jackie called me because she's coming over and it ended the video, so now I have to, like, put them together. Yeah. Okay, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the weather. So I could never live in an area that's warm all year round because eventually I would just get so fed up and be like, oh, it's so hot. Or an area that's, like, super cold because then I'd be like, bro, like, can the warm weather come? You know what I mean? I hate being too hot, too cold. I like to be perfect, like, cool. Like, spring and fall are, like, my favorite times because it's so nice out. You know what I mean? Obviously, I deal with it. Like, I love the summer. I love the winter. But I wish it was, like, you know, perfect. But nothing could be perfect. So it's, like, fine. All right, so let's fix up this bronzer a little bit. And then I'm almost done with the makeup look. <sighs> I really got this makeup look down and packed. It has changed so much over the years. I look back and think about what I used to do as my makeup and I'm like, why? Why did your makeup look like that? I think it was because back then I tried to go for a simple makeup look and I realized now that's just not me. I, I don't know how to do like a no makeup makeup look. It's just, I'm not someone that can just put on concealer, lip gloss and leave the house like i i will just look patchy weird off like i'm sorry i need the full foundation concealer bronzer blush highlight like that's me i don't know like don't get me wrong like some days even though that's my daily makeup routine it depends where i'm going and what i'm doing like for example like if i'm going to school i'll do the same thing but i'm not going to do it as like i'm not going to put hella foundation on i'm not going to layer the concealer i'm not going to put hella blush hella bronzer i'll do it like more lighter you know what I mean but whenever I go out I have to do this makeup look or else I just won't feel good about myself because with my skin it's like I have nice skin but my my skin isn't all like the same color you know what I mean so by putting on concealer just underneath my eyes it like what about the rest of my face my rest of my face is a little bit red off color you know whatever you want to call it and so I don't really like that so that's why I like to just put on foundation because it just really helps me even out my skin tone and oh, I freaking love this lipstick. Let me try to fix it. I don't want to like get, oh, whatever. This is why my shirt's dirty. It's okay, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. I literally forgot what I was talking about. I'm in love with this lipstick. I said this last video, it's so creamy and good. I freaking love it. It doesn't even feel like you have lipstick on. Such a beautiful color and it goes with like everything. Did I blend this out right? Yeah, it's good. All right, now let me just set my face. I'm not gonna do highlight today because I'm not going out for long. So this will do. Let me let my hair down. Oh God, I need to re-straighten it. Oh. Actually looks nice like this. Oh, should I just go out like this? Like cute, like, oh my God, stop. I think I'm gonna do that. Bet. Let me just brush this out. And I'm ready to go. All right. So that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments and subscribe to, and subscribe to my channel. I talk so fast. I like mumble my words and I don't know how to speak. It's really bad. Okay. Bye guys. I love you. Bye.